guys how are you guys hope you guys are fine it's no longer a news that the lockdown has been extended by the president for two more weeks <laughs> even if the president eh, extend it one year we still day we still they shine we still they born because when i was busy hustling for myself Hustling for my future purpose, some of you rats, on this comment section, you are insulting Bobriski. You are calling me names. Now, you are shouting Bobriski. Don't give it away for us. I'm not going to give any one of you my money. It's only my fans, my true fans, that love Bobriski. I will give my money to you. See, isolation, me, I'm fresh. I'm, I'm chilling, I'm balling. See, horrible, horrible girl. I fat. Hello family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maureen Glow. Hope you guys are doing great and good. Yes, I would always ask as usual. Anyways, this lockdown is really taking a toll on everyone. Like, no jokes. Even you watching this video can attest to the fact that this is really not easy. Like, it's really not easy on any of us. But what can we do other than following instructions and taking precautions in order to, you know, curb the spread of the disease? But then that's just me talking from my own perspective because that is so not it for every other person's at the you know, as per taking instructions, you get. Because there are people who feed based on the income they make for the day. So that kind of people, how do you expect them to like cope during this lockdown? Like, how do you expect them to feed or to live? Yes, I know people are doing the best they can to help. But to be honest, that help isn't enough to go around. If you get what I mean. Um, There is this video of this taxi man going viral right now. In the video, the man was seen removing his clothes like he was literally going naked and shouting hunger virus past coronavirus. Of course, that was after when his car was seized by the authorities, obviously for breaking the stay-at-home rule. And if you have to view it from his own perspective, I mean the taxi man, you would see what he said is nothing but the truth. Because people like him go out daily to fend and feed their families. So you telling people like this taxi man and every other person who are living on daily income not to go out is as good as killing them. Because how do you expect them to eat and live? You understand? Anyways, your bobo handsome, yes, Mike Godson, has come out to beg the vice president of Nigeria to please come to his aid as his pot of soup is about to finish. <laughs> okay, guys, let me just read you what he posted. He wrote, Your Excellency, the vice president, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Dear sir, my name is Mike Godson. I'm a Nigerian actor with the Nigerian film industry. Sir, we have been instructed by the federal and state government to strictly avoid social gatherings and stay in our various houses due to the spread of the virus. I must commend the federal and state government levels for the aggressive measures put in place to ensure the country's safety. But sir, the hunger in the land has finally reached my house. As I write this letter, I have just finished eating my last pot of soup and there is no hope for another one as my source of income has been put on hold until further notice. Your Excellency, sir, I have no more money to feed. If you were in Lagos, I would have walked straight to your house and asked for food because I stayed the same estate with you. I know I will be arrested by those mobile police officers in their hundreds assigned to your residence after I must have shouted your name three times. But sir, as long as I see you and ask for food to eat, I don't mind being punished for hunger at this point 
Finally, sir, I just want to know if the relief packages sent out in envelopes by the federal government will reach this side of Lagos. Because your excellency, sir, the hunger on the way will be more than the coronavirus. So please help. Oh, thank you, sir, at Professor Osimba Ajo. Yours sincerely. <laughs> you guys, um, as funny as the write up sand, the guy might just be speaking his mind because some of these actors don't make as much as we think or even if they do some of these actors all they know how to do is to ball and forget to save you get but then the write-up was so so funny that i laughed so hard when i first read it and i'm trying so hard not to laugh right now for real anyways Bonner boy took it upon himself to report the state of nigeria and Nigerians to PDD. Yes, PDD, the American rapper, you guys. As if PDD has help for Nigerians. Or maybe he does have help, who knows. Guys, on PDD's live broadcast on Instagram, Bonner Boy was seen reporting the case of lockdown in Nigeria. He was like, PDD, you know, this lockdown is a good thing, but in places like Nigeria, it's really hard on people as people are not meant to stay indoor, which is okay, but without the relief packages, how are the average Nigerians going to survive as many of them live on daily income? Okay, but um, if you ask me, I would say I don't know what to make of um, this um Bonner boys um report or whatever to pdd yes what he said is true but i don't know to be honest i don't know so let us move on moving on guys amidst this pandemic some people do not have problems so because their problem is not really a problem people like james brown yes you guys james brown the dancer he didn't cut me mm -hmm, that guy so during a live broadcast on ig which is now a thing in nigeria okay you know everybody's now going live mm -hmm. james brown told hg2 that davido blocked him on instagram for no reason at all guys watch the clip and i'll be back with the rest that I say something, someone says shut up, I'm not important, stuff like that. I shouldn't just cut chaos or as if I want to train that everything. But seriously, I like the video drama, but for the video blocking me that but that's but oh uh, James, you know say the video the video not my guy now, they've done my guy, you understand? But I don't yes. know, you know they you know they be block people anyhow, you know go block you if you don't get one reason, you get reason why I make the guy block you. Okay, if you think I'm lying, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram page and send mm. it to you. You think I'm lying? Because I, I, I don't see. I don't for you know, for username died. Like if you tag the video or something, if I call it, it will go that no. Or if you, if if you are on live video, the video can come here, comment and everything. I can't see the video. The video cannot see me. So you get a. Ah. But I don't know. I don't know what you do for him. Someone was live. Someone was live. Who was live? You know, say so let me tell you something. Maybe. Maybe waiting, waiting, make and block you. Be say maybe you don't go, don't, don't go talk on to where you don't like, or maybe you don't do something you don't like. You know, say Obi, you know, they really get time like that. I've never insulted Obi. I have never insulted Obi. Obi is a vibe. I mean, as a vibe. We have somebody said, wait, somebody said, somebody said Obi block you because you are a gay. Is it true? The same Obi said that. Wait. The same Obio said that if he was a gay, he would have walked free in Nigeria. Is it true? If he was a gay, he should have walked what? He would have, he would, he would walk free in Nigeria. Am I lying? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, that was, that was, you know, hilarious. Anyways, um, speaking of Davido, Davido tweeted, A lot of non-Christians will make heaven. Okay. So, guys, um, what do you think of Davido's tweet? Do you think he's right or is wrong? Well, um, let me know what you think um about his tweet in the comment section below. Meanwhile, singer Shay Shay lament over the amount of money she has, you know, lost because of this global lockdown. Shay Shay via a post wrote, I don't even want to talk about how much I've lost 
because of this global lockdown. Shows, endorsements, deals. I pray the Almighty restores everything that my fellow artist and you have lost. Hashtag we shall overcome. Amen. No shay shay. And guys, we've now come to the end of this video. And thanks for staying with me. That's if you watch till this point. And yes, subscribe if you haven't. Click on the bell icon for notification. Like if you do. Comment and share. And I, yours truly, will see you on my next one. But until then, be good. Wash your hands as much as you can. Okay? Stay at home, of course. And bye-bye.